TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, February 2024 edition, with your hosts, Pablo Gunner and The Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you. We're going to talk a little bit about Halo Season 2 because we're about the halfway point, right? Yeah, we're about halfway through. Halo Season 2, which as we already mentioned, surprisingly got a Season 2, but at least the Season 2's better. Sort of. I, here's the thing, I don't know about you, but when I show up to watch Halo, I'm, sh I'm showing up for Master Chief, I'm showing up for the Spartans, I want to see them do their thing. And when I see that, I love that stuff. When I'm not seeing that, I'm not loving it. And there's way too much of the not in the suit and not doing their thing in this show, which I, I understand building and all this stuff, but there is just way too much junk in this show. And I don't know if it's because they don't have the budget to keep up the visuals for when they're in the suits and, and the fights and everything like that, or if it's just, or they're just padding it to try to get as much episodes as, and, and as much, you know, mileage as they can out of this thing, which is a huge mistake if that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. But if you don't have the budget, then don't do it. Don't do it if you can't do it right. Yeah. And, like, I felt like they're just trying to profit off of their one of their more successful games, Halo Reach. Mm -hmm. And so they keep, like, pushing towards it. And then there's other side stories going on, which I'm still trying to figure out, like, <sighs> what's the point of the side story? Because, like, the kid... It's still been, like, a useless side story so far. Right. Uh, <laughs> hi. Excuse me. Two seconds here. Um, I'm the one in the car, remember? This story's about me, not him. Okay, you got it? All right, we're gonna move ahead. Sorry to slow you down. <laughs> uh, the only thing that's benefit is having one of the parts in the side story show up. Yeah. In like the I, main. I did like that Spartan coming back and rejoining the Spartans. Like, that was cool. Yeah. But, like, the lead-up to that, you just wasted so much. Like, I just felt like the you wasted so much of the first season. Like, you probably could just jump into the second season and be like, okay, that's still a cool lead-up. But you could have just, you know, lumped it together. I, it's, it's just way too much junk and not enough what we want to see and like i said if it's a money problem then don't do it right if you can't do it right yeah and i'm not saying like the yeah the writing is kind of can be bad and kind of awful at times because yeah it's all over the place and you're like or why what what is the i'm not even a hard you have to understand i'm not even a hardcore halo guy i i really love one halo game that i haven't even beaten which is infinity and that's about it and i feel like i'm still offended enough to be like I, I mean, I love seeing the dude, like, he, the dude, what's his name, Pablo, and I love that he's also another Pablo, and I think he's, like, I'm assuming he's Hispanic and Jewish, because I know he has, like, a Jewish last name, and I go, like, okay, this dude's awesome, I gotta support this brother, right? There's just too much out of the suit, and you make stupid excuses why they're not in the suit, it's just, it's so dumb, and, but I'm, like, I love it when it shows the action, and I love it, and, but even when they show the action, like, they're taking cover, and I'm, like, when do you take cover in Halo, <laughs> like, like, oh, because no, they're not in suits. Okay, whatever. Like, this is not Halo. This is not Halo. Why are you doing this to, if like... If we wanted to watch people taking cover, we would have been tuning into a Gears of War show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which I'm, I way more want to see with, uh, what's his name? Uh, like, I think he definitely has the chops for it, but... Oh, um, John DiMaggio? Uh, the Batista. Oh, Batista. Batista, yeah, like I would love to see Batista. Oh, I would just like to see John DiMaggio so, playing Marcus. But yeah, like I would way more w wanna would like to see that. But yeah, because this is this is a this is a mess, man. I mean, I'm still gonna keep watching it, and we'll still cover the second half. I don't know. It just it feels like I'm glad I'm not a hardcore Halo person because I feel like I would hate this way more. But even as like a person who is interested in writing and and character development and character growth and just writing in general like this is a giant mess and it's not it's not what i want it's not like i i love it when it is the action and I, there are certain moments that are powerful 
and and good, but but they they the the bad hugely outweighs the good. Yeah, like the first season, it seemed like they were trying to find the halo. And the second season, oh, they're glassing planets now. Yeah. It makes absolutely no sense. See, because I don't know that. I, I didn't make that connection. Especially, like, yeah. especially with, like, Reach, because, like, Reach... It's like, why are they going to glass Reach? That has Forerunner uh, tech there, and Forerunner is the uh, ancestors of the Covenant, which they consider, like, pretty much a deity or gods that they worship. The people who built the Halo weapon... And so they're not going to glass a planet that has that in it. But the whole invasion, like the invasion of Reach was a mixed feeling. Like it had its moments where it was cool, but like you really had to like have them take the suits. It's like what are they going to do with the suits if they don't have Spartans to put in the suits? Right. But you're taking the suits. Okay. Yeah, it, it's so much of it doesn't make sense. And that's the biggest problem. It's like you need to write... Make it make sense. Make it. That's all. That's what you got to do with writing. Make it make sense. And they had that leader guy just kind of going all over the place, but not fleshing anything out of what he's doing. Right. Yeah. It's 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 all over the place. It's a mess. I I if you didn't drop off from the first season, yeah, there's improvements in the second season, but there are so few and far between that I'm I'm really not sure it's it's even worth it. So we'll see overall. But even right now, I'm going like, eh. I mean, I had to go. I don't even I, know if it's worth checking out. I really can't even say if it's worth check. I don't feel like it's good to. S I don't feel comfortable telling people, "Hey, check it out." I don't. Yeah, I have to give it a pass. Then I want to talk about our merch. <gasps> My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this. Two cabbages, please. Which is Avatar focused. I have the Airbender one because I've always feel like I have connected with Airbenders. I've been told that like, oh, hey, you're a cool, chill, mellow, go with the flow kind of dude, which is also kind of water, but not exactly. So, and I'd totally rock some head tattoos and just like live in a temple, you know, and ride mm -hmm. a, uh, a bison. But yeah, so I love this. Uh, it's actually Slay J designed this superb and there's different versions there's you can do white lettering or black lettering this is the tank top version and we have all kinds of different versions there's ones with with like the all the symbols on the sleeve there's so it's there's top-notch stuff and it's so great and i was i'm so impressed with the designs that slay j came up with it he really killed it and uh, so definitely check it out because it's on sale now for this month which we don't have much for for the month of february so I don't know if we should keep it going. I feel I, like maybe well, we should keep it going. I think we should extend it to the you next know? month. The because it's, it's such a big deal. Like, it's so good. I need More people need to see this show. Yeah. And and even if you're not into the live action, you should still get it. Because pick whichever one. Because I know everybody has their different versions of which they are, like yours. But yeah, Fire Nation. How can you go wrong with Fire Nation? The Breath of Life. <laughs> you can't argue with the Breath of Life. Because that's, uh, if you watch the cartoon, when they go find the origins of firebending, because the Fire Nation has corrupted their way of doing firebending, so they don't actually use the true uh, origin of it. They use anger. Mm -hmm. And, well, they're very angry people, so it's effective. <laughs> but Iroh doesn't use anger. He uses the real purpose of it and that's why he's so powerful oh he's so great i love oh, i loved his parts in the show like when he used yeah. his his fire bending i was like oh my god or, or the awesome. fact he developed like the whole blue lightning defect deflection thing he's like, oh yeah i learned this i've seen waterbenders do this similarly but i applied it to fire bending you just go like this and then you just let it flow through and go out yeah yeah, crazy, dude. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, my wife is definitely a firebender. I feel like I need to get her a firebender shirt because she is fire and fury, and she definitely uses her fire for, not always, not always for for anger and hate, but I feel like uh, maybe in aggression, but most of the time, sometimes it's for love, you know, of the, of the children and the things she cares about, but yeah. And then I know that Slay J got 
did he get earth or no he got water because he's like he's all about the the blood bending he's 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 like yeah i'm a blood bender like that's what he is maybe it should be like tainted with some red or something you know uh, yeah. But yeah, I so. mean, you know, subgenres. The blood bending's cool, but I mean, what about lava bending? Yeah, and, lava, uh, lava metal bending, bending is <laughs> sick. Yeah, metal is 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 metal. Yeah, it's it's hardcore for sure. I I do I love the ice. Like that's so cool. Like the ice because I'm like, especially like they use like and they can just freeze people in place and stuff. And like she uses like ice blades. Oh my gosh, guitar does like. There's so much stuff that's just like so cool about uh, water bending, and then. But I kind of feel like I, I've told my wife though, like I do. Maybe she is more earth, but I don't because earth is really cool too. And like I said, earth was done so much better. I feel like in the this live action show than even I think the the animated because they made it make sense. They they improved it. They made it better. We'll, we'll see. Depends on how so, tough is. Yeah, we will see. We will see Toph. Because some of the characters, I'm like, I would not have gone with that person as, like, that person. But whatever. Like, some of them are better and some of them are not. Like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Zuko makes feelings. So, I, I like Zuko. He's pretty good. But, yeah, Sokka's, like, perfect. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of them are, like, Aang, perfect. Iroh, perfect. Like, there's some where just, like, could not be more perfect. You're, like, crazy. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, so make sure you check it out because it's on sale with free shipping. The, our merch of the month is, and anything that says talk nerdy to me on it, that stuff is the cheapest. That stuff's usually like 15 bucks and full price is like 30 bucks. But yeah, we have, we have really great sales, uh, for our merch of the month stuff. So definitely check all that stuff out because we have Halo stuff on there as well for this month. Pretty much anything that you could check out this month that's related it's going to be on there. It's expect that. We're making merch for it. If it's nerdy, we're making merch for it. And that's what you have to expect for this month and for the February and for any month, even for March, right? So, but speaking of people, we're doing it for you. Do it. They're, they do stuff for us. We work together are the people that we have been uh, networking with. So I, I have to give a shout out with them. Always at the top of that list has to be Atticus because he's the king. You know, he's the, what is the Batman of, La, La, um, like how, I, I want to say, I'm probably saying it wrong. Definitely check out his stuff on YouTube. That's his main focus. That's what he focuses on. He's very interactive. He's very raw. He's re shows you what life is like in Vietnam, in a small town and everything. He he goes to big towns too. Like, yeah. so you see it all and it's, it's real legit stuff. And there's also, if you want to. Be an English teacher out there. He gives you yeah, some tips one and, of his and stuff last like that. Videos was like, this is how I do laundry out here. Yeah. So like, just simple stuff to like, it's it's great stuff. I, I love his stuff. It's so good. Also, networkers or Berna Kenshin. She has great stuff on YouTube. Really, all of her content is is gold. She does cosplay. She's hardcore Splatooner and anime uh, aficionado. I feel like I can say phenomenal stuff on there. Definitely check her out. Uh, the Superpower list, check them out across the board, where it's Facebook, Twitter, wherever they're at, check them out. They're really cool. I love the stuff that they post. They're pretty hardcore, deep into comics, nerds, for sure. And then we have Riot TV's really cool. Check them out. They're one of ours. Uh, Randy, uh, S0725 on, on the tweets. Uh, they're really cool. Actually, that's the same guy that does a superpower list. So, yeah, that's theirs. Uh, Ameramay Media, they're super cool. They're really awesome. Check all their stuff out, too. Uh, Web Imagine Service does music. The Film Rage guys are so good. If, you, if you're hardcore into movies, they cover every single movie out there. Like, they rage about it because they, they, they're doing it for the people because they watch all the bad, everything. They'll watch it, whether it's good or bad. They watch it. They go through the pain like we're going through the pain of Halo. You know, they do it for the people. So, yeah. and it's funny stuff. They're funny and they're cool. The MK Jekyll and Hyde, they do like a web comic and stuff, but they have great content across the board on all their social media. So definitely check them out. And then Filmmakers Pod, Cinematic, Anarchy, Pesky Gremlins, uh, Gmart 8, Billy D's, Poe Boy Pod, and Gone Cold Podcast. Those are also some other ones that are great to check out. 
So, yeah, check them out because they're awesome. And uh, I, think, uh, I think that's it for this week. Or for this month, actually, for this yeah. month. So check out our stuff for, for March, our, our merch and all our content. Like I said, we're going to try to cover as much of the nerdy stuff as possible. So. Yeah, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Uh, they're worth watching and a blast. So stay nerdy, planet Earth. And talk nerdy to me.